<laughs> we got my homeboy here, Toad Front, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, for y'all who don't know, he is a Christian rapper. So, you know what I'm saying? When you hear his music, though, is when you start paying attention to the lyrics that you realize it's a Christian song. Because we was, we was in there, ja we was jamming <laughs> today at the park. At the park. Yeah. So, so tell us uh, tell us about yourself, Cold Front. Well, um... My name Cold Front, baby. Hey, I just told him that. I know, I know. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the, find the little groove. But um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a, uh, like she said, a Christian artist. Uh, I've been doing this uh for um about eight, nine years now. Seriously, taking you know taking the craft seriously. Um, yeah, I've been, I just been grinding. I've been, I've been doing. I'm trying to get to another level. You know, I don't feel like I'm a rookie no more, which I am to pizza to, to other artists, of course. You know, the, the, you know, the, the more I, the the, uh, the more higher up you go, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to take my my, my music to another level, um, where um, I wanted to, you know, be able to pay my bills. I'm 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 not even trying to look for fame. Just I know people that's not famous that you know, they they get it in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now you told me something earlier, and I was like, "What? You was um part of the BET Awards?" Tell yeah, well, uh, well, I could have. Um, I, I had an opportunity to be a part of the BET Awards. So, um, um, this was right before COVID. I was auditioning for some um A and R's, and um, this was, this was in Austin last year, and uh. So I think I was the only Christian artist there, and um, and it was so crazy how they had it set up. Like, cause you would think that it was gonna be a microphone, you know, stage, you mm -hmm. know, so you know, some sound, you know, but it wasn't nothing like that. It was just a laptop, and the guy was just sitting there in front of his laptop. Was like, okay, play it off your phone. <laughs> <laughs> so I think a lot of people got it stunned a lot of people. So I, it was good. So I guess it was they was trying to really see. How can you perform under pressure? Under pressure. Who's prepared? Yeah, yeah. I, I tell a lot of people that I always be prepared no matter what, because you never know where them A and R is at mm -hmm. and what they look like. So you you always got to be prepared or whatever. And so, and a lot of times it's hard trying to download your music and all that stuff because what you yeah. might have it on might not work for what I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it was so crazy because they was cutting people off at like. 30, 40 seconds. I almost did the whole song. The only one in there, as far as I know, they were by like at least 13 people before me. But I was the only one from what I know before I before I left. I was the only one that performed almost the whole song. That's what's up. That's yeah. Because your songs is fire. It's just when you get to listening to the lyrics and then you be like, wait a minute, is he talking about Christ? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it just throws you off because you might, you know what I'm saying, wanna it kinda like make you be like, oh maybe I shouldn't be jamming like this. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? But we all human and yeah. we all love music and everything. It ain't nothing wrong yeah, with it's a vibe. jamming for Christ. It's a vibe, you know, and um I don't even consider myself like the traditional artist. I just talk about my life. And it just so happened like, you know, just like circular artists, you know, they, they could talk about their life but they have the same thing that they talk about within their life, you know, that's their lifestyle. You know, right. so happened mine, it's just it's my lifestyle. But I talk about real life situations. I'm not afraid to talk about things, you know, in the moment. <laughs> I'm not afraid right. to talk about things that people are ashamed of because they want to hold a, a, a image of perfection that should not be because it's perfection. It's, it's, it's perfection that we strive for, but not perfectness. We could never be perfect. Right. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm not shy of looking however people feel like, man, why are you saying that? Why are you telling people that? Why are you doing it? Like, I'm, I'm not afraid. So, I, like, my stuff is raw. Real, authentic writing. That's what's up. And plus, this is not your first interview with the Rainy Ray Show. Mm -hmm. For those of my old fans or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I had him before in here. And he was, he was man, look, you should have seen the look on his face when I was like, hey, you remember this? And I brought out his first, his first project. <laughs> I brought his first CD, his first project. So, so how does that feel to know, you know what I'm saying, that people still have your stuff out there? Man, it, it, it felt good, like, cause I, I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. But, but I felt like hustle and flow, like remember this me. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it did feel good though, cause uh, especially when like gen like people that you know that rock with you for real, you know what I mean? It's like, cause that was a long time ago, 
Right. You, know, <laughs> you know what I mean? And the fact, like, I remember that time when, when you know, you had, when I was going to Christian House of Prayer, right. when you got it, when you came in and you, and you got it, and you was, was always, you know, consistent with, like, hey, I'm trying to get a CD, this and that, like, so, you know, like, like, like you, you see, um, uh, the further, the further I go in my career, you know, you could see who's really supporting you for real like and, and i know it's okay for people not to you know it's because too many of us share the same supporters so it's hard for people to support everybody at the same time right but you know who's just not there just because like the coattail riders right right right, right. You, like so you definitely see who's really for you for real the further you go right right mm -hmm. and, and me knowing you personally since you was like a teenager like yeah. you have like you come a long way and and to see you know all the whole group of y'all that was hanging together and the total whole complete path you went compared to them and how did how do how do they feel about it like i know i know a couple of them still you know give you a repress and stuff but has it seemed like they changed like now it's like you know like dang you a christian dude like you know what i'm saying has it changed um it it, it did change but it is nothing that was like premeditated Right. It's not premeditated change because we just we just have different journeys now, right? Right. You know, and like so it's just um, we we aren't interested in the same things, so it kind of like life just played its part. Mm -hmm. You know, even in so even in the secular world, even if I didn't change, you got some people that still just that, that's further along in their career and like they kind of focus and kind of you know the same things. Like so you know, right. so I, I don't take it, I don't take it personal at all. Like at first I I kind of like I did at first. Like when I first gave my like when I first when it was new to me, mm -hmm. you know. So when I was my when it was like fresh, like I was like, man, don't this. It felt like I was getting disowned, but now I realize it's just it, it's not. It's a change that not everybody was ready for. Yeah, in yeah. your life, even though it's your life. Yeah, right. It's, like, it's just a different path. Like they just not. That's not the path that they on. So it's like I don't. I, I shouldn't expect people to rock with me on this whole new path. Like all of a sudden, <laughs> just because right. I all of a sudden jumped on. Right. Yeah. Now, now, I, I love hearing your story. I be telling people your story, too. But mm -hmm. tell us your story on how the day that you just decided, I'm giving my life over to Christ, forget everything else. So, uh, man, it, this was so <laughs> crazy because I had about uh, three booties that I was supposed to come over. Or, about, or two booties <laughs> that I was supposed to come over that week. <laughs> yeah, so I just I just threw that out there so y'all could kind of know how it was before all this. But, um... I got a phone call. My my mom came. My mom came home and gave me a uh, gave me a, a a piece of paper with a name with a phone number on it, and it said uh, Keith Bro. So I'm over here thinking it's like Keith that I went to school with. It's all I could think about one Keith or two Keith, but you know that one he moved back to the Dallas area. I'm like who? I'm like I'm Keith and the Keith that I know we we know we know each other, but it's like we on we on we on Facebook. So I, you could have just hit me up so I finally I finally gave that number a call and it was so, totally somebody different but God used a stranger to speak into my life well, um, I was high as heck too I was like <laughs> smoked like five six blunts so um um so yeah God used a stranger to talk to speak into my life and long story short I'm keeping it um I thought he was uh you know I thought it was the same old cliche stuff that you could tell anybody right you know what I mean like your great grandmother died like, uh, a lot of people great grandmothers died. Right. You know what I mean? So like what's new? About yeah, it? It so I thought it was so something <laughs> I thought it was something cliche. And then when I thought that in my head, he started he uh, uh he started going back into my new my past in New York cuz I'm originally from New York. And so he started telling me things in New York and don't nobody in Texas know me from New York. Right. So it's like whoa. And so he brought up something like, say, I, like I threw a pencil through a, the car window and the window didn't break, but it just went straight through. Um, so, so like something like really particular mm -hmm. that he brought up in the past. I was like, so it, it kind of I kind of started getting scared. I'm like, right. Whoa, I started. Right. You've you been watching me. All yeah. Right <laughs> so when he said that, I started getting scared. I started thinking because I'm, I'm high, obviously. So I started telling myself in my head, like, I am tripping. I'm too high. Then he's, <laughs> and he's, he answered me, like, you're not tripping. You're not too high. So, like, like I was saying, long story short, he was, like, telling me things. Reading your mind. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> so as we're talking right now, audibly, and in my mind, I was like, he was just answering everything. I was like, so so then it would start to, 
he was like, God was starting to calm me down. So it was like when he started to, to, to get more deeper into my personal, it was like he was letting me know, like, I'm God. It's okay, son. And so I, I start to have this peace over me. I, I felt this presence I never felt before. You know, I smoked since I was a kid at this point, you know what I mean, to where <laughs> I was at then. So it was like, I've, I don't just be walking around feeling this supernatural energy like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, I knew it was God. Well you, well, you know that Dominique tell the story. He like, oh, he got real super high. And he said he heard Jesus and just thought, dropped, his, just dropped the blood. He ain't talking to him. <laughs> he just, uh, yeah. <laughs> but in a nutshell, that is, that is kind of like, you know, how it happened. But, you know, it, it, either way, God speak to us through many ways, yeah. children. You'd be surprised an animal might. You know oh yeah, if, if we don't, some type of the sign rocks or to, to uh, cry out his name. If, if we don't, <laughs> you know, so yeah. you know, it, it, it's it's all good. Now this video though, like I said, man, we was crunk. I can't wait to the video come <laughs> out. When when the video is gonna prepare premiere? Um, I don't know yet. I don't know yet because we're still in the shooting process. So tomorrow we're gonna be uh, tomorrow we're gonna be in Austin. Um, well, I don't know when you're gonna put this out, but Memorial Day. We're going to go on Memorial Day, and we're going to be shooting another video out there, too, and pieces to this video that we just shot, too. Okay. So it's, it's more to the, it's, it's going to be more scenes. That's so out there, we're going to pretty much be out there pretty much all day. I make all the scenes, but I ain't going to be able to get <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was honored dope. to be in, the, in, the, in this one. I was honored to be in this one. That's what's up. Uh, so what do you, um, other than, um, so you going to Austin for Memorial Day, right? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so bring me a playback. I got you. All right. You know no cheese, you know. No All cheese, right. No right. cheese, no cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Shane, this um, um, where they can find you at? Uh, y'all can find me everywhere. Um, whatever platform y'all have that y'all use the most, type in Cold From Baby. Not saying, well, the, not saying that I may be on there active, but the ones that I'm, I'm active on there for, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, Instagram, Facebook. And YouTube, um, oh, you could you can find me on TikTok too. I I, I don't got addicted. Oh Lord, <laughs> everybody in this damn TikTok. <laughs> I don't got I'm addicted. I'm trying my best to avoid TikTok, <laughs> but it's like I'm going to end up having to join TikTok just for business purposes, and it's, it is driving me nuts because I do not want to do TikTok. My dang old my dang old wife is she is just so eager. Like when we get to Florida, we gonna do all these TikToks, and I'm like. You're going to hate it because I'm going to be that one in the background. Look, like, uh, so I'm telling you, like, I, I was the same way until we had Snowvid. The Snowvid <laughs> that we had. Uh -huh. I had I, I had nothing else to do. Like, so, I didn't have no... Well, I still had my lights. Well, I didn't have no internet. So, it was like, what can I do? So, I was just on TikTok. And I just got... I got, got hooked. Uh, I was just watching it. Just It's like, I was just... Like, it's like one big old explore page. That's it. Yeah, I mean, cause I, I like when she's sitting there watching whatever. I have watched some of the videos and stuff with her, but to actually just be participating in TikTok all the time, yeah. I'm 46. I feel like I'm too old for that crap. Hey, you'll but, be surprised. Yeah, I have. You will be I surprised. Have. I have. So this, I'm the, like, oh. this is a new era now. Like so, yeah. like this is a new technology gonna be around forever, now. forever now. So it's like. It's it's for, it's for everybody. There's no yeah, no yeah. Hiding it, no running like, away from like it. Like the kids, the kids now, the Generation Z, like like me, I would have been embarrassed because my mom was on TikTok or you know on social media. But the more social media is normal, you won't think the other. You know what I mean? It's, it, yeah, it'll become normal for older people too. You wouldn't be so embarrassed. Yeah, because they... you see a lot of kids and their parents doing a lot of stuff yeah. together now too, which is cool because mm -hmm. you know we um, lost that bond with with our kids and stuff because we have to work so much to take mm -hmm. care of home. So mm -hmm. it, 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 it gets its benefits, <laughs> and it gets its benefits. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna end up breaking down party by the end of the summer. <laughs> yeah, you, you go to let, let, let me know. Let me know when you get hooked. <laughs> Man, let me know. <laughs> I'm already a little hooked just watching them the little thing. Things, but just uh. yeah, 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 yeah. Now posting it is a whole nother. So I'm I'm horrible at posting. If I show you right now, I have like 37 draft in my because I'm horrible at posting. So I, <laughs> then when I tell you, I, I I do a lot of stuff and then I just I Say, just, just put them to the side. yeah. I just I just uh, I ain't posting in a while. Publish right. <laughs> Publish. <laughs> 
I know that's just see that's it. Keep you at like you like you saying said earlier, keep mm-hmm. you constant. Yeah. Keep you constant. Well, um, I hope you enjoy your the rest of your Memorial Day weekend. Like I told y'all, this is the Rainy Ray Show on Censor. I'm letting y'all into my life and my world. So, you know, this is part of what I was doing. So it's Sunday and I uh, was part of the video shoot and we hit the interview up. And um Lord, look, I'ma tell y'all now tomorrow. What I get <laughs> tomorrow where I'm gonna be at. <laughs> it's about to be a sh- I think I'm gonna end up having to do part two and three on this. <laughs> hey. For real. <laughs> so but hey, it's all fun, laughter, or whatever. I appreciate you but, for having me. Thank you, thank you. This thank is really you. dope. This is dope. <laughs> keep keep doing it. I am, keep man. Doing I am, it. Keep man. Doing I, it. Nah, I finally found my niche. So, yeah. uh, you know, I found my niche. Yeah, okay, keep, <laughs> keep going. Keep, yeah. keep going. If other people are embarrassed, that's good. Oh, uh, yeah. That's no, good. like I said, like I said, I'm really about to do the sign. Like, like the sign thing. Because I was telling, I told you I was, I, that I was thinking about doing that. Stand out. Oh, uh, yeah. Stand out. Yeah. Don't be hungry. <laughs> Star, you got, you got, you, you got. Hey, my stomach you, always touching when, my when, back. When, <laughs> when you starving, you do anything for food. You, I'm not saying right? like anything, but you'll do what you like. You'll what do you, what you gotta do. You to survive to yeah. get fed. Right, mm-hmm. right, 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 right. Same mentality. <laughs> like I, I know you, you tired of going on nine to five because I, 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 I can't stand it. Man, I, I like, can't do that like, rest of my life. And then not only that, it's like, all right, why, why I can't get my own business yet? Because I'd be a better boss than these people that we be working with. Like, man, uh, yes, man, yes. I was having a conversation yesterday. I'm like, I'm gonna be that. I like when I, once I get to the level I'm trying to get to, I say I'm gonna be that type of boss that if I got a doctor's appointment, we all got one. Everybody get the day off because <laughs> that that gives you a day to take care of what you gotta do too. Because at the same time, yes. These jobs and everybody wants you to. I but do not believe in slave shit. And they, they, my job get mad because I'll call off in a minute. You know, that, you're you're not gonna run my life because the minute I die, you're gonna replace me in, within 24 hours. Yeah. So why is I'm gonna give you my whole entire life if there's something I want to do with my life or whatever? I'm, I'm calling out. I'm not about to sit here. Oh, I don't miss. I miss my my stepdaughter's graduation because y'all wanted me at work. That's all. I'm not getting that memory back. Yeah, you know, and they they want you to only memory you have is them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like building up somebody else's legacy. See, now the whole thing yeah. about jobs—I'm not saying jobs is bad, but like, but it's really building up somebody else's dream and right. forgetting about your own. Right, right, <laughs> right. And that's why what I'm trying to build is is every is art. That's why my logo, my passion is your entertainment. So I'm looking for people who has the same passion that wanted to be other people entertainment. I like and we that. work together. My passion is your entertainment. That's yeah. dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at my baby. I, that logo. I need to go on and make it legal, legal logo motto, that, motto. But that's my motto. That's dope. Yeah, Ooh, that's this, my this motto. A, Man, this is a dope. This I I like this. This is <laughs> this is different. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Y'all see it? I'm gonna post it too. That's whenever, whenever, whenever you post yours. Whenever, because I ain't gonna overlap. Uh, no, no yeah. problem. Um, on the second. Okay. Cause um, cause I'm gonna record Monday. I know I'm gonna be done with that late. So I uh, party like Tuesday. I'll let you know. I let you know. Okay. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna give you a, uh, the CD that I dropped last year too. Oh, for sure, for sure. So yeah, put it yeah, yeah. Can I even like the beginning? Yeah, and then, yeah. You know, and, uh, and we'll, the, the the music video that we shot today. That's mm-hmm. that's that's volume two of the CD that I'm gonna get to. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exclusive. I get yeah. exclusive. I'm here. I love exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> But I got you though. I got no problem. you. Hey, would, would you ever? That's that's something I never ever asked you. Would you ever sign with a major label? Because I know you're independent. You've been independent all your life. It'll have to make sense. It'll have to make sense. Um. It. It depends on the journey. So like, Definitely. it's really hard to answer because the journey now. If I was in the position in my journey, if my journey looked like Chief Keith's journey, I wouldn't have signed. <laughs> if my journey looked like, you know, certain artists' journeys, like, because the, the internet, once the internet had you, now, I, now, when you get higher, of course, I know it'll probably, it'll be a different, uh, uh, different levels to, of hardships. Right. You know what I mean? Because now you're trying to go to another level and it's going to be harder because, you know, so you don't have the machine behind you because you're doing it. 
all independently. But if if I if I can, I, I you know it, it would have to make sense. I'd still be I would have to still be able to do me, mm -hmm. still be able to put the music that I want to put out like, and still be as transparent that that, that I love, and you know I, God they can't like they, they can't take God out of me. They can't take God out you know right. out the contract. Right. You know, I, I still got to be myself. I still want to be free. And see, they, but see, they once they took it out of schools, they thought that they, they figured that that was that up and door. Oh, it's out of schools. They figured they, and they've been trying to take it out of everything else. And, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I feel you on that. I definitely feel you on that. And then they wonder why the generation all screwed up. Because, you know, they can't pray at home. Some of them might be drug, parents, drug addicts, or always at work and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they have no type of foundation. And yeah. nobody does. Forget about the community, raise the kids together. Now, you say something to my kid, they be ready to fight you and shoot you. But your kid is out trying to help your kid from getting shot by the police or getting shot because he don't broke into my cousin's house. Yeah, yeah. And my cousin will pop you in a minute if you break in his house. So, you know, but it is what it is. But hopefully, though, it's all like everything is a return and involvement phase. So hopefully, we do go back to them days where things were safe and everybody was a community and worked together. And it stays right there, and it don't change no more. Yeah, I know it's it's, a, it's it, like it's a it's, <laughs> it's it's wonderful to wish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's like the worst. Life is getting worse, but the worse it gets, the better it becomes. Right. As far as like like adapting, you know, <laughs> yeah. it gets easy, you know the it, it, you know adapting to the the new stuff is it gets better because the technology from now to the 90s a lot better 90s better than the 2000s yes <laughs> you see what i mean yeah but, <laughs> all right all right it's like the technology medical wise yes technology entertainment wise no because now that entertainment has took place of family and everything else Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it, yeah, it got his good side. And yeah, bad side, so, so like it's, it's going to continue getting worse and worse. You just got to find the. It has, you ask me, okay, the technology for the medical, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But at the same time too, how they they was healing themselves before all this medicine and all this stuff coming on, we can we can still heal ourselves too. We just don't let our brain. Which eat is right. the strongest thing of our body control? Yeah, eat right, everything. Eat natural stuff, all that stuff. Right. Thing, you know. Yeah, I eat some green, good vegetables now. I'm be on the toilet. Now, <laughs> Your body like, what is this? Like, oh, <laughs> me too. But then in the end, but then again, it be like, oh, relief. Like your stomach ain't all like yeah. I'm clawed up in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. So, for real. It's good. I, shit, I'm liking this too. I'm like, shit, I'm gonna have to do some interviews on the beach and just sit back. Like, this is nice. I really right. like this vibe. This is really dope. Right, yeah. Is, is, I'm, am I the first interview like this? In the car, yeah. Oh, you the first one to be sitting at the park in the car, hey. yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This and is that's, a vibe. I might start doing the YouTube, like my YouTube, because I know I gotta start doing the visuals like that. Yeah. But it's like it was like I, I I was so focused on just getting started and getting the platform started that I'm like, okay, as gradually as I go, then I'll do this. But then everything started like boom, 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 coming at me, and I gotta stay ahead, keep up. So I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta do this quicker than I intended to. You, you, so, you know what? To to keep in mind, like. Like, like, uh, no matter what, you're still going to learn. You're still going to have to learn anyway. Because what you think you're going to, well, what you think you need to, 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 to do what you're going to do to the, you're going to have to still learn that too. So, oh, so no. it's, it's not going to, so it's like. It's not, I mean, <laughs> I know learning never going to stop, period. But it's just when it, yeah, when it comes to this technology stuff, sometimes you cringe. Because it's like, but look, look, the stuff can it, be so technical. It, it's the journey, though, that that's that's beautiful. Like when you yeah. people go back on your journey, like people could go back on my, on my stuff right now and see the, see the growth. Even my, my new YouTube channel, right. uh, Cole from Mebby Studios, for the other, you know, I got, you know, I'll be doing reactions and stuff on there. You know, like, uh, uh, that's where I started off doing, but that's not what that channel is only for, but that's just the first things I'm doing. Right. And I'm, like, from what, how I was recording, you can see the quality, the setup. Right. Like it's just it's just getting better and better. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, I forgot the phone over there. I'm like, <laughs> you see what I mean? You just vibing. Yeah, it's cool. So I, I probably will. You know what I'm saying? 
And then especially, you know, when I go to Florida, like I said, I know I'm going to Florida and I'm going on another journey. And this is going to be another journey business wise and everything. Because, yeah. you know, the dream began in my head in Ohio, but it was founded and, and became life in Texas. So now I'm taking it to the next level of Florida. I'm like, man, my last couple of months, I'm going over the bank. You know that, what I'm saying? I'm going over the bank. I'm leaving Texas with a bank. Hey, <laughs> and, and I'm I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm, right. uh, I, I, well, I was supposed to leave this year, but I, I, I extended it to next year so I could do it right and not just get up and go. So that's why I'm going hard as I can. Right. But where are you going? Florida. Nigga, you ain't going to Florida. Before. Tampa. Oh, then you ain't going to be in Florida. That's all right. That's all right. We still can link up. Definitely still can link up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's just, uh, but yeah, I'm like, huh. But yeah, I'm uh, tomorrow. I'm because tomorrow I'm going with my wife's friends, and we about to go out there and barbecue and everything. And and they love karaoke and stuff. So I was already warned that when they see these microphones, they're gonna be trying to sing it every day. So hey, mm. like I said, I, I already know my Memorial Day weekend recap show is gonna be like two or three parts. Yeah. Already, I already know. Because I'm going I'm to try to edit as much, but if it's good, it's good. It's got to stay on there. You know? Uh, so. <laughs> you, you got it. You got it. It's, 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 okay. Sure, I might mess around and have three parts. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> never funny. know with me. You never know with me. Yeah. Let's see what time. I'm getting hungry again. I See, I've been just... That's what I said. Look, I'm going to tell y'all, we, we like shooting scenes in the, in, uh, shooting scenes in the park for the video or whatever. So we probably like maybe about fifth scene in. And, you know, we, we changed the location of the park. We still in the same park. But I'm sitting there and I'm like, dang, my stomach is touching my back. I've been running all day long. I ain't eating nothing. And it was like I was getting angry. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, I don't want this vibe and attitude in this video. And I don't <laughs> stay far from the park. So I'm like, you know what? I don't even stay that far. I know I got some chicken wings in the refrigerator. I'm about to throw that in the microwave a minute and a half. Boom. So I run to the crib. <laughs> I bounce around to the yeah, crib. Yeah, I thought I was tripping. I was like, I, got, I know I saw you. So I was, I was making sure you were straight. I was like, well, I was gone. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was four minutes away. I'm about to pop that stuff in the microwave, threw my ranch on it, and, and was eating and came over here. <laughs> went to work on the wing. Went to work. And, look, and then I sat there, I'm like, oh, dang, they shooting the scene. Because I see everybody bounce. I'm like, they shooting the scene. I said, no, and them, they going to do another one. I got time. So I sat here and finished eating. And then I went on up there and got in some horses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my stuff was touching my back. I've been running all weekend, which is cool, but it's just like, because while I was in Houston Friday, mm -hmm. so and then um, what, what did I do yesterday? Yesterday we had um, the family had um, tacos and nachos and margaritas, so we ended up doing a little stuff like that. But then I forgot my charger, so <laughs> we like oh. it was like the last one minute they get to wrapping and stuff, so I had to try to cut them off, and he trying to go, so I ended up having to wrap real quick and cut it. I think we gotta cut this off. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> but like I said, it's it's going. I can't wait to go back. I ain't yeah. listening to nothing. So I can't wait to go back and listen and start editing. I'm about to have fun. Like, <laughs> you are. It, it, it's, it's a nice journey. Like, just, like, don't, don't lose focus of your journey. Don't lose focus uh -huh. of the journey. Because the moment you do, it's going to start getting stressful. And the fun is going to leave. Uh, the man. joy is going to go. I, 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 I understand. I understand. I'm not like I said, I'm having too much fun with this. Like, I love DJing and stuff. But this is better than DJing. And it's more. I got more control. Yeah, you it's can, like you I get love, to talk, you know, you, yeah. you, like real life, and you just get to vibe, and you know, it's 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 really dope. It's really dope. Yeah, because like, with DJing, I love the DJ and everything, but it was just I have really gotten to the point in my life to where I really realized I don't like to be told what to do. I don't like authority. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I'm so used to just, you know, doing what you have to do that I didn't realize I don't even like this shit. Like, <laughs> when, like I don't like, like, uh, and then they, hold up, this is DJing. This is my passion. And, and I still got to listen to folks. So it started. It started not being fun for me no more when mm. I realized that I still got to work for others yeah. on that. Yeah. You know, so now I'm like, all right, let me revamp. And one of my friends was like, you got so much stuff going on. I need you to pick one and stick with it. I said, you're right. I am going to pick one and stick with it. I picked three of them, though, but I'm still stick with these three no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so That's funny. It's good. <laughs> and yeah, so. And, 
somebody asked me how you know how far i want the podcast to go and i was like i didn't get a chance to think about that because i was so busy building it and redoing my pages and trying to build build that i didn't think about once i got built where we i'm going i'm like whichever way god god take me though but i didn't think about that like i do want i don't i just don't want to get i don't want to get i want to do what i'm doing to where i don't have to ever work for nobody else but i don't want to be that big and famous to where I can't go nowhere and enjoy my life because everybody yeah. like right, right. I mean, I can go. I, I'm already like local popular. I go so I can't. My daughter be like, man, I hate going somewhere with you. Cause every time we go, you gotta stop and talk to somebody. Well, I can't help that. You know, people see me and they know me. You know, especially yeah. DJing and stuff like you just yeah. meet it may, so many yeah, people. Yeah, that may be hard. I'll be thinking the same thing to myself. I'm like, man, because I'll be feeling so bad sometimes when people know me but I don't know them. Right. It's like. I mean, my memory screwed up anyway, so I tell you off rip. Like I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna remember your name. You know what I'm saying? Do it. I do apologize if I see you again. <laughs> like, but hey, my memory is screwed. At least you up. give them. A, you, at least you took that expectation for the next time. Like, hey. Yeah, cause it, cause I do be, cause it will bother <laughs> me all day long. Like, where do I? If I can't, if, I might, I know I'm not gonna remember your name, but I at least gotta know where I remember you from. So that will bother me all day long. <laughs> where our memory from? So uh, let me just go on like, where and where we know from such as uh, uh, mm, yeah, my memory all screwed up. I don't even remember what I ate yesterday. You want me to remember your name? That's funny. <laughs> Over here, like, for real, for real. And we did get some good scenes with all the kids and stuff in the park because the park is pretty packed. You know, everybody doing a little barbecue. A few birthday parties and stuff out here, and then you know Memorial Weekend. Some people yeah. go ahead and celebrate the day because you know maybe you fifty percent of the things are closed, but the other fifty percent are still open, and then people still got to go to work. Yeah. So. Yeah. So like when I had planned this, I I didn't even I forgot all about Memorial Day because I'm like I'm like man, I'm like normally it's packed on Sundays. Like it's a lot lot more people. You know what it is. But Once you day. graduate school and be gone school, you don't remember. Because school is the only time you remember all them dang on holidays and stuff. Because you know you got the day off or, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and then you're grown, so you're in your own crib and stuff. So yeah. other than that, you know, mommy cooking you, and stuff. So you it's thinking like, about stuff that that ain't going to get you put out on the street. Right. you like, you know okay, I got to go to work. <laughs> I got to <laughs> make the hours. Right. I got to make this much. I got to pay this, pay this, this. I need the car. I got to pay for gas. I got to, like, it's so and much stuff. And if you ain't got an actual wall calendar, you ain't gonna know it's a yeah. holiday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because on your phone, it's just gonna tell you the date. Unless you pull up the calendar. Who? How many people pull up the actual calendar on their phone? I know. Unless they actually plan an appointment. Nobody pull that out. So nobody <laughs> never know. For real. <laughs> unless you got kids. Uh, 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 unless uh, uh, unless, we, unless everybody start changing their uh, they screen to the to the calendar. The lock, then, the lock screen or the home screen. Look, they stopped that when they stopped using the um, actual hand calendar on the, on the phone. Remember, you used, to, mm. you used to have a hand calendar before the digital. That's the sad part. That's the saddest part to me. That kids can't tell time, hand time, everything digital. These kids don't know. These kids don't know how to read a hand a hand clock. Oh crap! I never thought about that. No, they they wow. they don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't know how to read a hand clock, and they don't know how to write in cursive. They took all that out of school. They don't know how to write in cursive no more. You, you you know what's so crazy? You know how it, like I was saying it gets worse. Mm -hmm. Like so now their generation when they get older, the generation before them is gonna be something that's took out of their of the new generation too. That they're gonna say the same exact thing, but some to something else. Yeah, but my thing is okay. <laughs> is, if this wow. generation already don't know how to tell hand tell a hand clock and don't already know how to even sign their name. Because a signature means signing in cursive, not printing. They probably ain't going to know how to drive. Because this car's going to be driving you know, themselves. But if you'd be surprised, too, how many kids know how to read but don't know what the hell they reading. Yeah, no context to what they read. No context to what they just, they just know, know the words. words. Yeah. Damn. If you be, like, right. I have been seeing that. I, now, from my era, I'm a 70s baby. I actually got to see the change twice from my generation changing from us to my parents and grandparents to when y'all started coming up to now my grandkids with the see what my grandkids coming into 
I'm, I'm looking at it twice, so it's like, oh, snap. Like, the next generation yeah. is going to be stupider than this and stupider than crap. Because they don't know nothing or and all the stuff that they was taught ain't really life essential stuff to be taught. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of stuff I learned in school, I didn't, like, besides math, well, the basic math, you know, but, you know, you know all the other stuff didn't really, didn't help me essentially. And, and even with and even with English, you got Ebonics. So once Ebonics took over, the English language don't matter no more neither because I can write it in the semi-shorthand. Because I ain't nothing but shorthand. <laughs> it is. It's, it's shorthand writing, Detour. but they made it sen semi. That is crazy. <laughs> I, I'll be sitting by, I tell you, I'll be sitting back thinking of some stuff and I'll Detour be like, oh, writing. God. That's crazy. Shortcuts. Yeah, that's a good, because what, LOL? We used to actually write out, cracking the fuck up. We used to actually write the word out. Now it's CTFU. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. everything, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it got Dang, to the. Dang, you right. Look, when, it's, when I first started noticing how it started really changing, was Little Rain. And she got this cell phone. And she's texting it, and you know I was that parent that I every now and again I'm gonna check up on you, and I couldn't understand what the fuck she was texting. So I'm like, what the hell is this shit? Like, <laughs> what is this? Like, do she? I know she know how to spell. Like, what is this stuff? So it was like, I didn't want to really ask her because I didn't want her to know I was really like in her phone and then she had the stuff. So I just started slowly like I hear little stuff and I ask her. And then one day I'm in Walmart and they had a freaking poster. They had everything on it. I took a picture of that and studied everything. So now I knew what the hell she was talking about when I go through her messages. Dang. <laughs> like, you know, I'm sitting there like, this is what it all, like, that's what that mean? Like, oh, oh, see, she getting her ass real. Like, you know, <laughs> like you did not know what it was. <laughs> and I, it's like, okay, how did that even get created? So I guess it might, I would say, because during y'all era growing up, us parents was, was always in y'all business. And y'all got tired of us in y'all business, so y'all created y'all own little lingo and language. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the, the cell phones. When the cell phone came into play, y'all own lingo and language, so y'all could talk to each other and do this, this, and that. And then especially when it got to, um, started getting sexual stuff coming into play. You know, the, you know they used 60. to wear, wear the, with, uh, not just the session, but you know they used to wear the different color little bands, wristlets, and that used to mean stuff. Oh, crap. Yeah, so you just wearing it thinking, you know, cool. Go to the go to the wrong party and have the wrong color band on. And somebody going to approach you and you're going to be like, what the heck? But it's the color little band you got on. Dang. <laughs> and like they, they got real hidden from hiding stuff from their parents because parents started getting. And y'all ain't got no business. Anyways, we supposed to be up in your business. But. They, you know, kids wow. felt they had started feeling more that I have more of a voice and that I have more privacy. Yeah. And here come all this other wave of shit. Woo. <laughs> oh, Lee. Look, you getting on now, dude. I know, like, I'm over here just in the time machine. <laughs> he got the look on his face like, nigga, I'm old now. Like, I didn't even realize that. Like, I remember doing that crap. They doing what with it? Like, yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? Because it was like after after you and Dominique or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Eric was right behind y'all. So it was like, okay, cool. But then when Rain came up and bought she a girl, I had to pay more attention. And then when me paying more and more attention, I'm like, what the fuck? What the hell? Like, Dominique ain't been six years older than her. Like, how is he that, that quick, that fast? Like, oh my God. Yeah, it, it's 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 wild. Yeah, it's, real wild. <laughs> it's yeah, it, it's crazy. It, it yeah, wow. Cause, Cause me and my niece, we're seven years apart. You know, so like I still feel you know connected, even though I'm still I'm not that older than her, but I'm still much older than her. But like, still young enough to you re be relatable. You spent like good ten, twelve hours with her all day. Like, spend a good eight hours with her, and you will see the difference. <laughs> <laughs> like, spend a good eight hours, and you'll be like, wait a minute. She's going to do something. You'll be like, y'all doing that? Like, I promise you. 
That's like I feel so out of touch with my grandson. I have to sit there and learn about Roblox just so I can be in touch with my grandson because he's so into Roblox. I'll come over, hey, hey, grandson, hi, Grammy, and he'll give me a hug and kiss <laughs> and be sitting there having a full blown conversation, but I straight into Roblox. Dang. So it's like, all right, if I get to talking about Roblox, then he'll turn his head. Like, what you know about that? You know what I'm saying? So I have to learn stuff. Like, you know talking about learning stuff? I have to learn stuff just to have a covers, just to, you know, keep some kind of conversation, just, communication with my grandkids. Yeah, yeah. And that's, man, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. They don't want to get, like, they, i fishing, maybe. Like, some of the stuff we grew up doing or whatever. You know, Mike can get some of these kids to do some of that stuff. A lot of them going to be terrified of it because they never even know what the hell it is to try it. And or nobody's never going to try the stuff with them. And they just stuck in front of this television with YouTube and Netflix and Roblox. You know, the kids don't know how to read. Some of these young, like I'm talking about like young, young kids, like. Mm -hmm. Don't know how to read, but they know what they typing. Like how, how they be they they be finding stuff on YouTube. Um, that that photographic memory. My 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 godson. Uh, one of my godsons, he is four. He just turned four not too long ago. He can find my name in his phone. He be calling me. I'm like, and I was like, well, I just found this. I'm like, well, hold on, cause he always be calling me, and so. I was like, let me see. I'm like, I went to the home page, clicked off all the stuff, and he still found my name. Yeah, I like cleared, cleared everything, and he still. Photographing memories um, with wow. YouTube, it be them icons. They know them pictures when they see them. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, um, like I said, when you, numbers, whether you know these numbers or not, numbers stay sequenced in your head and your visual. So they just can see your face see that it's, it's just okay i can connect it's a mental connection yeah. i know this voice go with this 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 name and this number even though i don't know this name i don't know this number but i know every time i see this i hear your voice uh yeah you see I, um um ha have this ever happened to you when when you um any time in your life like with me i remember i could uh at one point i could tell what numbers was getting typed on like in the phone because they yeah. all had their own A little boy beat, beat. Yeah, yeah yeah i think they started changing that when people was getting when the atms and credit cards stuff because it was so mm, easy because um, yeah. remember you used to hear the beats when you touch your stuff in the phone but now you really don't hear they just tell you the numbers back yeah because people can hear them beeps and we're getting the numbers yeah you know what I'm saying? yeah that's getting the credit crazy. cards numbers and stuff while you're there Wow. Like, I still be trying to hurry up and type my little pen in fast with somebody behind me or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll be having my whole hand on it like this. And yeah, <laughs> but then at the same time, they all the, you're going to figure it out eventually regardless because the, the keys don't ever move around. See, that's what they should do. Start having where the keys move around so that way nobody will never know what numbers you're really typing because the keys don't move around. Yeah, that, you know that's that, so that, crazy. That, 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 that. You be, you be, th you be, you be think, in your deep thoughts. I'm a thinker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a thinker. <laughs> you be in your deep thoughts. Especially if I'm sitting at home, home bored my mind and get to running about some stuff. Or no, that's like um, um, you heard about the, um, like Masons, the Masons. Mm -hmm. Now, growing up, you knew the Masons was always a, a secret elite type thing. You know, they got a commercial on TV. Really? Yes, I was tripping. Like it usually come on at night, but they got a commercial to join the Mason. Wow! Like, like I first of all, first of all, y'all need members that bad that y'all had to put a commercial. And what happened to the eliteness of it? Y'all just put a whole commercial. Anybody could join it. Like people, you had to grew up knowing about the Masons or actually knowing Masons to know about the Masons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody gonna know. Everybody know about the Masons. If you watch TV, especially the regular channels at night. So it's like, I don't know if they recruit the poor because that's who's watching it late at night. Nobody who got cable. Because I don't see it on Netflix or nothing. It's the local regular channels. They get yeah, I see it on. Wow. Like, really, like, <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll be, I'll be seeing stuff and I'll be thinking of the most weirdest, craziest stuff. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's probably why I'm so good at what I do.
<laughs> I like it though. Yeah, dude. I'd be like, what the heck? Like, man. That's like, um, I feel that, that with the COVID stuff, it's, it, it was all a plot to make the vaccination as a bargaining chip because we owe trillions of dollars in one country and they ain't trying to give us oil in the other and we ain't got but so much oil here. You know what I'm saying? So they could cut us off whenever the hell they want to, really. So what is we going to bargain with? So now, hopefully I don't get cut off for all this stuff. But, you know, now, you know what I'm saying, you know, I don't create it. I don't create it. A, uh, uh, I don't create a worldwide disease, and we're the only one with the. We're the United States, the only one with the cure. That don't sound like a bargaining chip. To you. <laughs> mm, you know what I'm saying? That's not like a bargaining chip to me. I ain't mad yeah. at you getting where you fit in. You know, do what you got to do, but quit involving us innocent people <laughs> with your bullshit. You be <laughs> You be in your bag. You be like, <laughs> you just be, you be thinking. You like, you, you be on just if the if hot sauce, if you put hot sauce in the fridge, <laughs> is it cold sauce? And I don't be high all the time. Either, so it ain't Nobody be trying to be like it's the weed. You know? I don't be high all the That's time. crazy. But I be thinking about that. But it's just you know, I ain't never took the flu shot, so I'm not about to take the COVID shot. Have you took it? Mm. You plan on taking it? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I mean, now, I, now I, I I thought I was gonna be have to f forced to do it like to to, to travel because I like I, I don't like driving. I get on the planes, so uh, I, yeah. I thought I was gonna have to. I thought I was too when I wanted to go to Tennessee for my birthday because I'm like if I gotta take the kosher shot I ain't going. Like, <laughs> but it's only when you want to go overseas, which is I is I understand about I can accept that. Now yes, y'all my back back my plan. Because next year I was planning on trying to, you know, start traveling overseas. But if mm -hmm. I got to take this COVID shot to travel overseas, I'm just going to wait until I don't have to take it no more to travel. But there's still things around the U.S. I still haven't seen yet, so I got time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, <laughs> I got time. All right, well, I, I still ain't been to this uh, you know, state yet. I ain't, been, I ain't been to, I like, I've been through, but just to sit and actually chill, party, or kick it. I have not been to Atlanta. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Oh. I ain't been, I ain't been, you know, other than just driving through Georgia. Atlanta. No, you know what I'm saying? I want to see Savannah. Savannah. I don't know what is it about Savannah, Georgia. It's just the name just sounds beautiful to me, and I want to see that. <sighs> like me going to Florida, like oh shit, I'm about to Sound be like all up and down love. Florida. Beautiful black woman, Savannah. Yeah, you know, I'm about to be all up and down Florida. Like I haven't seen stuff here, so I got time before yeah. then. And if they still be like you, you got to take this COVID, I will never get to see the other side of the world then. Because mm -hmm. I'm not taking it. Never took a COVID. Mm -hmm. I, ain't taking no, I ain't never took a flu. I ain't taking no COVID. And I feel like, too, like you, that's just y'all other formal way that y'all chip us. You know oh, I think the same they, thing. They quit to tell you. You know, because all the other vaccinations and all the other little stuff that we that, had to take, they had to take that what, that what, that what? disease and inject it to you to help build your immune. Now they quit to tell you that with this COVID, this stuff is not in here. But if you do some of the research that they're using white males embryo lungs, as far as some of the ingredients into the COVID vaccination, so like you've changed my DNA. You're taking a whole nother human being. What I don't get is What's how they always my DNA? pander to the like black community to do stuff. Like they gotta make the black people like, it's okay, black folks. See, look, this black person. Because did. even though we're the most feared, we're the most powerful. So it's like, okay, we scare you. They're scared of our power, so they try to make us fearful of each other and with anything that we do to call themselves protecting themselves from our power because see that see um i seen you know i can't remember what i seen you know but it was like um when during the george floyd thing it was a sign matter of fact you know what i'm saying they panicked because they know what they've done to us and they're scared of us doing it to them and we have the power and the means to really do that to them, but we really, we are still a different species from them. 
we still don't want to do that. We just want y'all to leave us the hell alone and let us let us live the way you live in without making it so damn difficult. That's all we want. But they still believe, and there are still some that just as prejudiced towards white as white towards black. And it's just like um, they still fear that okay, if I let one monkey out. He might do good, but I let the other one down. And while I'm sitting here watching this one, he's been propping these ones. They 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 think it's a, because they're so busy setting us up. They're too scared of what we trying to set up, and yeah. we ain't trying to set up shit. We just trying to get. We just want to be left the fuck alone and be rich. We just tired of having to struggle to pay our bills. We want to be able to go to a park and kick you without having to worry about is we gonna get shot by the popos or or the little stupid motherfucker that's trying to rob the nigga across the damn street and now my shit child don't got shot about something that ain't got nothing to do with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it's it's one big gigantic ass circle. Man. <laughs> and today is the rainy rays lessons. <laughs> I'm schooling the hell out of <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this is just this is just you know I'm an educated woman. I yeah. you know I and when I say I'm educated, that don't just mean I just went to school. It means I pay attention in life. I observe. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I watch his thing, and you know, I don't just look on Google. And I actually watch CNN and the news, and, yeah. and I read the paper. Like, you know, this would trip me out too. For all the businesses in all the places that goes in, out, up, down, bankrupt, and everything, the library. How the library stay functions? If you think about that, library and schools. We know the schools they functions because of the grants and financial aid and all that. But the library, where all your answers are at. And some libraries are right around the corner from some of these hoods. But they don't go in there. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, when I do my information, I do all of it. I Google. I go get a book. You know what? That you That is... Man? You're so right because technology have taken over the spot of so many things, but not the library. The library, you can still go in there and go still to use, the, use the computer. You the, know what I'm saying? For an hour or so, but... Technology I took in some people's jobs from the... the uh, um, the airport. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that library going. But that's crazy. The library. The library. You be wow. <laughs> I pay attention to a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, and that's the thing. It's like, wow. all, you know what I'm saying? They relied on so much and put everything on Google, which still ain't nothing but a man behind there reading the same book at the library, typing it and putting it on the computer. So, yeah, it's more easier and, co and convenient, but let me, let me spell on book pages. You know what I'm saying? And the person that's typing and putting this stuff on Google, them, them summaries. I want the whole story. And the only way you're going to get the whole story is at the library. Because mm -hmm. yeah? you get on Google, you're going to have to Google. Then there's like five or six different things you got to read in articles. Then you go to Wikipedia. Then, you know what I'm saying? For all that, I could go get one book. Read the whole damn on book. And I don't got more information than Wikipedia or Google. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we gotta go back to books. So go Wikipedia back to books. ain't it ain't accurate. <laughs> like Wikipedia is edited. You could edit, you could edit on Wikipedia. People can. Yeah, so you know, they like, be having people with information wrong all the time. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. So it's like I'm scared to look on Wikipedia and just look at myself. You see, because <laughs> after because when you start doing a little business thing and stuff, and so much social media come up, that you you will get a little. So I'm kind of scared to look and see like what the hell they might have put up there, but you know, I will one day. Hey. You know what I'm saying? And then I might go look and see that I'm not up there. I might make my make myself one. You never know. <laughs> Check me out on Wikipedia, y'all. But I know the information is correct because I put it up there. Today, so <laughs> it was not secondhand. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Hell yeah. I don't know. Like, I'll tell you, it's going to be a part two, three. 
the whole month of June. Well, no, I can't do the whole month of June. Because, um, let me see, June. But, yeah, June the 4th, I'm going to be at Brotherhood Bar and Out. Mm -hmm. um, you got to check that out. It's a, it's a, it used to be a... Um, I seen it on the... Well, I didn't see it, like, in person, but I seen a video. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, that looks nice in there. Mm-hmm. Nice. And it's black owned, so that's why I love even more so. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I'm gonna be podcasting from there. And then June the fifth, I'm gonna be interviewing Lil Ronnie. Lil yeah. Ronnie. Lil Ronnie. Da 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 da. Say the shirt. <laughs> Man, I had to put some strings like a motherfucker. In. You know what I'm saying? He ain't cheap. <laughs> but <laughs> and, and like in in here. Huh? Nah, I'm gonna be at R and B karaoke. Okay, nah, okay. Nah, nah. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna start doing anything like this. I don't know. Like I said, this was just that's dope. Right? Like that'll be so because uh, there, there's this guy, the streamer on Aiden. Um, he be getting he, like all types of big artists. He be he be streaming on Twitch. All types of big artists be just going over to his crib. And he, <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'm like, and, uh, and it's like a whole podcast almost, almost, but just streaming, but it's just streaming. Right. I'm trying, that's what I said, I'm, I'm trying to get into that. That's crazy. When you see about the streaming, but it's just, you know, you can't stream everywhere because of internet connection. And it's like. But this right here and uploading it, like, this is dope. Yeah, you I, know what I'm saying? That's why I'd rather do pre-recording. So, I, I, all any technical issues is taken care of because. If I'm watching, I know myself, if I'm watching you and you got too many technical, it, it's, I don't want to watch you no more. So I don't want to be like that with everybody else. So that's yeah. why I've been lingering on visuals because I've been running into too many technical issues when I be trying to do this stuff. So, and this just be test rounds. So it's like, oh, that, that ain't about <laughs> yeah. to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool though. It's getting hot as fuck though now. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go get me something to eat. I know, man. I don't mean, you know, I know you, you know, I don't, don't, don't get twisted. You know, I respect the Christianity and everything, but, uh, yeah, I'm ready to go smoke a blunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm ready to go smoke a blunt. No, hey, yeah, <laughs> do, do, do what you do. You know what? This, this project, this next one. Uh, is this one song in there I talk about? Like I was, you know, I smoked for the first time in eight years last year when I was going through my own little stuff. You backslid out of smack. Yeah, I was trying to. <laughs> I was trying to really for real. What? For real, for real, because I was mad. I was angry. I was going through a lot of crap. You know, uh, 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 people who present to, to be in church. Right. You, you know what I mean? So it's, it was just too much. I went to like we're, what some like a relationship too you know so it's like it, it was even hit even harder with someone that's that you're in a relationship with right so like just imagine somebody that you ain't in a relationship with right how, how it be hitting people like so, right. you know, somebody that you in a relationship with like right. yo and, 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 and you I, tricked and, me and that's like a, that's like a, a meme i see on facebook it's not that i'm upset at what you did to me it's the fact of that i know i wouldn't do that to you yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what hurts the most. Yeah. Like, yeah. I could see if I was going to be a snake to you, but then I get what I get. I, yeah. I deserve it. I was like, in the snake. Where does karma come from? Yeah. I'll be thinking, I'll be, I'll be going back. Look, I'll well, be going back to childhood like, man, is this from, is, is this, am I going through this stuff because of what? I'll be trying to think. I'm like, what, and, and, what did I? But you know what those, um, sometimes too, uh, well, especially growing up, until we become accountable for our own stuff. Some of the stuff that we went through as kids are karma because of what our parents done. And we didn't know. You're right, generational. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. generational curse. Yeah, you're right. You know so, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. See, that's why every, and every time we do talk, we we always go over. We always end up. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, 58 minutes. Oh, dang, we were to right <laughs> yeah. Get to hell. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be part three. Yeah. <laughs> part two is three. Like, damn. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Look, and I'm like, because it's like I got um, I got everything still on this one. Yeah. So that's why I was like, I ain't paying attention to that. So, <laughs> but shit, we really still is, though. Like, yeah. shit, like, hey, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> we here with Cole from hey. Atlanta, Long Branch Park after the video shooting, just chilling in the car. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, though. But yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, that's that's been long enough. We're gonna have to go. All right. We just we we'll make the rest of our conversation personal. But you yeah, know what I'm saying. But yeah, welcome to the world of anyway. 
<laughs> and I'm um, guest. Call for him, baby. Call for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>